how you guys doing today this is alex of auto key security services all right today i'm working on a volkswagen med 17.5 i'm gonna attempt to clone it because i don't remember if this is the one one of the ones where i have to you know specifically get the emo data transferred rewritten you know it's, it's it's a little funky procedure but i'm gonna try to clone it outright first and attempt to start the car with it if it doesn't work then i'll revisit the uh the information that's going to be read both from the original to the donor and uh transfer the appropriate data over that way while leaving the original intact but i'm going to try to out i'm going to clone it outright first I'm gonna make a backup of each ECU. I'm gonna make a backup of this one and a backup of this one. And I already started to read. This is the original computer. I already started to read it. So I just figured let me make a video on it. I wasn't gonna make a video. But I'm hit save. Okay, I read the, the P flash. Now I'm gonna read. Oh, I am using. Hex tag, the hex prog from Microtronics. Okay, let me read the D flash now. Just like that. Nice, right? All right, I'm gonna save that. Let me uh, double check the folder, make sure that Okay, all three files are there the uh, the backup I made a backup first and then I made I read the D flash and the P flash Okay Give me one second. I am going to hook up. I am going to hook up this ECM now and read it, back it up, and then start transferring data. I'll be right back once everything is wired up. Okay, I have the, uh, the donor hooked up now. I am currently doing a backup. Okay, I'm going to save that under back to Volkswagen EOS and I'll put new folder donor MED 17.5 let me save that in this folder that's just the backup that I'm saving now. Okay, now I'm going to read the P flash in in its entirety because when you do a backup, it it just reads uh certain information that you can you know modify the ECU and then you if if you're working on the same ECU you can restore it but it won't work like back up and then restore onto that. It won't work like that. Okay. I'm going to read the P flash now in its entirety, like I said earlier. And I'll be back when it's almost finished. Okay, I just finished reading the uh, the flash. I'm gonna save it into my donor folder. And now I'm gonna read the uh, D flash. This reads fast, the D flash. Okay, I'm going to save it into the donor folder. Save. And now, 
I'm going to select P flash. I'm going to select right. I'm going to select the uh, original. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, press the wrong file. Let me restart. Okay, let's do this again because I pressed the wrong file. I don't have my mouse with me and this stupid pad is a pain in the butt. Alright, let me select the P flash. Because that's what I'm writing now is the P flash. Okay. Now I'm going to select the D flash. I'm going to select right. It's going to open the folder original. And let me select the D flash now. And it's going to write it now. Okay. Now let's power it down. Disconnect. Let me check the pins. All the pins look straight. This is my little office where I do the majority of my work. It's for when I'm soldering, micro soldering, I use the uh, microscope and the TV. Now let's go back over here. <clears throat> That's the car we're working on right there. Give me one second, I'm gonna hook up the computer. This is the, the donor one, it looks, the customer brought this. Looks kind of crappy. Reason we're replacing it is because there's a misfire on cylinder one and the fuel injector number one is not getting a post. And we've already swapped over injector, you know, did testing, ohms, getting spark, good compression, everything's there. So fuels don't what we're suspecting. So I'm gonna hook it up. I'll be back momentarily and then I try to start the car. Okay, as I suspected, an outright clone is not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to specially uh, get this file specially created to transfer over this uh, ECM to just transfer the emo data with the VIN information and everything. Because right now, the P flash and the D flash has been written, but it's not gonna work like that. See, it turns on momentarily and it shuts off. <clears throat> Let me go here. <clears throat> yeah, cause it's not all of them that you can clone. And that's what I wanted that that's the main reason why I made this video because I wanted a lot of people online say yeah you could just clone it you know, you know it doesn't work like that I'm gonna just try to read it see if it did transfer the VIN over automatic selection read VIN number the original VIN number to this car is ends in 15132 one five one three two okay so i did transfer all that information over so i'm gonna have to uh modify it is the uh, i'll show you guys once um once i have the file ready well i'm not going to show you the areas that have to be modified but i'm just going to give you a quick example let me stack the uh, engine control module. And it's gonna be something about the uh, security data doesn't match because this uh, has to be emulated because I think this this is one of the computers that has the uh, 
the OTP one-time programming so certain parts of the memory can only be written once but we can get it emulated we can write the software in a certain way to emulate it to make it think that it hasn't been modified when it's been modified if you understand what I'm saying like it'll just jump we'll just jump the address that it looks for and and put the information somewhere else and then the you know code and stuff You see incorrect mobilizer key. Want to show you guys this? That's all. You see, the control module faulty is because the the different data that's been written. But we're gonna resolve this in a more uh, a little later because I have to do this at night time at, at home where I have all my other software. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all now exactly what I did to get this working I used my VVDI2 you go to uh, special functions MED17 dump 2 okay I already have everything saved but I'm just gonna do this again you load The original original P flash and you load the original D flash right then you hit decode okay I have decoded my information now I'm gonna save this save as a text file right and there goes there goes the file that it saves I'm not gonna save it because I already have it saved okay so then once you saved your original data file you go again you load your donor you see that's the text file no that's the new uh, that right there is the new file that was written okay I'm gonna load my donor P flash my donor D flash and I am going to hit allow user now, you see pay attention to the information you see you see the information that's the uh, let me decode it okay this is the, the donor information right here from the donor computer now what I want to do is load from text now we're gonna go back to the original remember the original text file original data file okay now you see the information has changed to the email data from the original ECM okay you see that right there it's all there then you're gonna save to a new EEPROM dump and you see new Volkswagen blah 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 I'm gonna go back to my donor folder and you see I already have the file so I did not I'm not gonna save it again but 
then I went to I restored the computer back to its original data and then I wrote this new file right here that was generated by uh, by VBDI2 I wrote the new the new data that was generated by VBDI2 and let's go to the car <clears throat> Car right here. This is the uh, this is the donor computer that it didn't start earlier. Remember, it said uh, it said safe mode. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. I have one of the coils disconnected, but it's good now. It starts right up and no safe mode if any you guys run into this problem you know what you gotta do thank you for watching auto key security services